Hey you. Have another cheese burger. Don't worry about your cholesterol. It's fine. Have a Dr. Pepper with that. It's okay. Show me your heart. Show it. Open your heart. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, do it. (laughs) All right. Hell yeah. We are at hour 17, and we've hit $12,000 in donations already, so thank you, everybody. All uh, right, we've got a new room. Uh, mm-hmm. The Lesbiathan is still with us. Uh, she will be here for hey. the entirety of our block. Uh, it's but, left out of uh, rage. <laughs> <laughs> but we, have, uh, we also have, now we have with us uh, Mix. Yo. The Heavenator. 12K are rookie numbers. Malt. Hello. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and sanguinary novel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. Nothing, I don't know. Like I'm still pretty <laughs> flabbergasted. Mix is like throwing down with the audience. Like, that, that was he. <laughs> that was he. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. he, he, is, uh, he, he believes in antagonistic uh, performance. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited for this after the well, I mean, we got to get the heart pumping somehow. What to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this hour is our, is a return to cardiophiles. Oh, uh, after my own <laughs> heart. <Yay>! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and in this hour, uh, our special incentive is uh, our, our special incentive is going to be uh, for uh, if, for each time somebody donates fifty dollars, we will read one of the top five heart moments uh, from non supernatural TV shows by yeah. Tumblr user Cardiac Cadillac. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> so, uh, so when we get a fifty dollar yeah. donation. Then we will uh, we will go ahead and stop. The next thing that we will read will be an example of the top five heart moments according to Cardiac Cadillac. Not from Supernatural. Got it. Not from Supernatural, mind you, because Very Cardiac important. Cadillac has a whole bunch from Supernatural. Are what, you fucking kidding me? What the reader you want in your donation? <laughs> yeah. Don't forget. Yep. To put do the that. reader that you want in your donation. Uh, we will, and I will uh, make sure that they read it. <clears throat> All right, but first we're just gonna we're uh, gonna start off tonight at uh at hurtbitgirl.tumblr.com. Hurt Fuck me! <laughs> Get the fucking shit out of me! Uh, and Malt, if you'll go ahead and uh go ahead and uh read this uh hearing heartbeats from a distance. All right. Fuck. I'm, God. I'm hurt, but girl. <laughs> Anyone in the community watched the show The OA? It was new no. on Netflix. <laughs> Probably. It's the, oh, sorry. It's actually called the OA. <laughs> no, it's not. Shut up. Yes, it it's is. Not. It's called OA. Yeah. It's the I trust original it. angel. <laughs> the <laughs> OA? It was new on Netflix probably two years ago now. I just wanted to point out that the device that is used by the gentleman in the restaurant. For those of you that didn't see it, he had this device that picked up people's heartbeats just by pointing in their direction. I was caught completely off guard when he used it. Oh. <laughs> Imagine pointing it at anyone you found attractive as you were walking by. You could stealth God. listen. Or that sexy guy or girl that is exercising over there, nope. listen to their heart work. Yeah. Or that couple fucking, yup. Listen to their hearts pounding away with every single touch. Why can you see them? Why are they fucking in public? <laughs> That's just their kink. You better respect well, they're it. They're a power couple. It's a power move. <laughs> <sighs> I could think of more, but you have an imagination. Don't let me spoil it. <laughs> P.S. Oh, yeah. Is there going to be a sequel already? <laughs> oh boy! Uh, oh boy! So cool! You're a cool person. Let me tell you about this thing called fucking microphones. 
<laughs> oh, like I'm gonna fuck a microphone. That's what yeah. I hear. Uh, mix. Uh, give it. Give us an example of to give us an example of cardiac Cadillac's uh style. Why don't you go ahead and read uh the cardiophile's pet peeves? Sure. Uh, these are just a few little pet peeves from cardiaccadillac.tumblr.com. Number one. When movies slash TV shows try to have a heartbeat sound effect and it's so obviously synthesized and sounds nothing Ugh. like an actual heartbeat. God, who do they oh think they're God. fooling? <laughs> Number two. When movies slash TV shows try to have some kind of animation or visual effects showing a beating heart and it's entirely anatomically wrong. You hear me, Looney Tunes? Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck. Uh. Number three. The worst. Trying to search for hearts on Google or Tumblr, <laughs> etc. And getting loads of cutesy doodles or Valentine's Day shit rather than actual hearts. God. Oh, God. Damn it! And do you want me to get this, like, comment, too? Uh, yeah, tachycardiophilia. Go ahead. <laughs> tachycardiophilia jumps in with this. God, this. Four. Doctors in shows getting stethoscope EKG placement all wrong. Are you mm. fucking kidding me? Obviously the, the, obviously the uh. actors didn't have doctors writing their script. <laughs> what am I trying to listen to? They're gallbladders. Am I right, guys? Oh. <laughs> Such nerd. Uh, <laughs> hey, Chrissy Fox. Uh, yeah. We already got two people requesting. Oh, oh, yep. Do we? Turtle. Yeah, Turtle uh, donated 100. He requested Eve and Mick. All right. Well, then, uh, Eve, uh, before you read Chrissy Fox, could you please read um, number one here? On, uh, yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> go for it. Mm, Sam and Sam slash Annie. Yes, it's beating. Life on Mars, UK, <sighs> episode one point one, episode two point eight. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> my my top moment is in two episodes from different seasons. Forget the US <laughs> remake, the original series about a cop who gets hit by a car and wakes up in nineteen seventy three has one of the sweetest oh my God, and most what? heartfelt cardio moments I've ever seen in Aww. a TV show. This in the show? first episode, as part of trying to figure out if the world he's in is all in his head or actually real, Sam puts his head on Annie's chest and is amazed to feel her heart beating. Wow, I you're alive! Her heart beating. <laughs> in the final <sighs> episode of the show, there's a callback to this moment when Sam is wondering if he's going to wake up from his coma in 2006 and leave 1973 behind, and he puts his hand on Annie's chest again to see if it still feels the same. Aw, man! The show's spinoff, Ashes to Ashes, also references this scene. It's like they knew. It's like they made it for the cardiophiles. <laughs> uh, next one. <laughs> hey, uh, like okay, so Mix, yep, uh, uh, you get number two. Uh, I get number two. The Doctor, both yeah. Of them. Specifically, shit. this is Doctor Who Christmas Special 2005, yep. The Christmas uh, Invasion. Oh, shut I up. I have to lose their fucking minds with the Doctor having two hearts. Like, <laughs> Don't read ahead. Uh, no. There are, there are a fair few heart moments in Doctor Who to choose from, as you'd expect from a TV show in which the lead character has two hearts. Yeah. But my top pick would be Rose osculating the Doctor in the 2005 what? Christmas special. <laughs> yeah, auscultating. This is one uh, of the cardiophile moments that really stuck in my mind after seeing it at age 13. Oh God my. damn it! <laughs> oh dear. After regenerating, the Doctor falls uh. into a coma, and Rose listens to both his hearts with a stolen stethoscope to check that they're working. She placed a... it wrong, though. <laughs> <laughs> a... uh... Well, there's two of them. You can't fault her for that. <laughs> it was a rather sweet as well as humorous moment. And although I could probably make a separate post of all the heart moments in this show, and I Christ. probably have, this mm -hmm. one stands yeah. out as my favorite. I wonder if they mentioned the time the doctor got killed because he had two hearts. 
<laughs> no, that was such a that's the worst moment. He had two hearts, both of them died, and then I had to go <laughs> cry. <laughs> Well, you All see, right. real Doctor Who fans agree that the movie was, in fact. <laughs> uh, uh, All right, Heath, now that you've read that, you're also such a dork. Yeah, yes, I'm a different person now. Oh, so, God. I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, and he was getting a bit hyper and oh. weird, as he does sometimes. Oh, my God, oh, I wonder what a YouTuber could be. Oh, he's going to do a gamer moment. As this is going gamer on, word. he's like, I wonder if this mic can pick up my heartbeat. And he just holds the mic on his chest for like two seconds. To answer Whoa. a question, yes, it can. Wow, it's like hearts make noise. Oh, to they make do? It, uh, to make it all the more blushy for me, I kind of have a Whoa. crush on him, Ellipsis. Ew. Oh, the joys of being a cardiophile. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, the joys. Creeper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we're going to skip down to a part called uh, Wow, How Relatable. That uh, <laughs> Thank you, Mix, by the way. Um, we... Oh, <laughs> Uh, when I requested this document, because I requested this document, it was because I was very taken by one of the writers from the uh, our cardiophilia episode. Uh, Reclama wrote that wrote the story where he put his secretions into Ooh. a woman who was uh, having a heart attack. Nope, nope, no, no. Uh, no, no. Uh, and and it, that was so great. No. I think not. Uh, that I, I needed more. So uh, this is from the dashboard of Reclama. <laughs> yeah, because mm. Tumblr updated since then, and it's worse now. <laughs> <laughs> Some days, my cardiophilia sneaks up on me, and suddenly I'm keenly aware of something I can't focus on <sighs> anything else. I, I, I was in line at a local fast food place, waiting my turn, it was very well known, waiting my turn beside, behind two sets of elderly folks placing their order. Normal, everyday event. I looked up from my phone and noticed the young girl behind the counter was smiling at them pleasantly. As she paused to key in some information, I saw something that caught my eye and once it did... I was stuck. I noticed that her name badge, oh which was sitting God. on her left breast about where a man's shirt pocket would be, was twitching quite rapidly. It seemed to be making her heartbeat visible. Because taking orders is such, like, such a thing that you gotta like, oh, oh man, taking these old people's orders. <laughs> it did not happen. I started staring at her chest, watching the movement, counting it, it and wondering why her heart rate was so high. Because a creep I staring tried, at her chest. I tried I mean, not to be obvious, but I'm wrong. sure she caught me staring at least twice. I started to take pictures. <laughs> Once it became my turn to order, she gave me the same pleasant attitude she had given the older people. I was close enough to see her pulse beating in the sternal notch of her neck. What? Her heart was really going. She was having a heart attack. My mind kept throwing out ideas as to why her heart was working so hard. Finally, my secretions will come in handy. <laughs> oh, God. I paid and moved to the pickup area just out of visual range. My mind still tossing out scenarios and thoughts. I find myself in situations like this every day. Staring at women's chests. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> as like I have a radar for it. Usually, crazy. it starts with seeing a pulse or a distended uh -huh. neck vein. Then my mind takes off and the fun begins. Sometimes, I wish I could just turn it off. Sometimes, I sexualize it. Oh, More often only than not. Sometimes? No, only, only sometimes. sometimes. I'm innocent okay. the rest of the time. Most, uh, okay. more often than not, it happens just like today, and all I do is wonder for a while, and then I'm good. I hope she's all right. Her heart rate was 120. <laughs> uh, I horrible, counted. Absolutely terrible person. 
fucking uh, awful. Uh, so now we're going to move on uh, uh, to an honest question from Risa mm. Skrull. Doubt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sangway Rary novel, if you would please read, uh, Risa Skrull. Cardia, oh, shut up. I'm, a, I'm a howler monkey. Ooh, ah. My cardiophilia <laughs> and Risa's fetish have been <laughs> with me from an early age. <laughs> since before, <laughs> since before I was old enough to even realize it was sexual feelings they were staring Ow. in me. Mm. They were just they were an absolute integral part of my sexual pleasure for me, and so very intense. The level of arousal I can reach from simply reading a short piece of related erotica or looking at related pictures, chatting online with a fetish buddy, or watching a video is just incredible. Hey Which is guys. all well. So, <laughs> it's incredible. Watching, Fuck you. No, it's not. It's no. beautiful. No, it's not. <laughs> which, it is. Is all, which is all well and good, but sometimes I feel it's just too overwhelming, all consuming. I can honestly say I have never come without some element of heart. This is finally in my head. Have you tried? Never. You should try. You should, you why should would try. I, why, why, why would I try? <laughs> never. So neither, you can be normal. <laughs> Please, I beg you. I beg Look, you. I only come to the Kalima scene every night, okay? <laughs> Neither on my own, nor my partner. When I was first discovering masturbation as a young girl, uh, and the craving mm-mm. I have to meet up with like-minded person for cardiophile research sex is like a constant how? nagging how? 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 How could you? <laughs> what? List. What can I say? And it all seems just to get stronger as I get older. Well, the thing mm. is, Ju- the thing is, Julia, if her heart's not in it, she's just not going to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Mix, I swear to fucking God, you yeah. swoop in like a pun Batman and then just leave. I fucking hate it. What are you doing after this hour? <laughs> Are there are there any others who feel the same about their fetishes, or do others find it easier to keep their kinks in a box and not let them take over their entire sex life? Throw all your kinks in a box and leave. <laughs> <laughs> box. Hello, it is me, Reclama again. <laughs> There's never a day that goes by that I don't feel exactly the same way. I became aware. Of my cardophilia at age 12, and it has grown out of control ever since. I have become an expert at hiding it, which only makes it worse. (laughs) Currently, I am forced to contain it because my partner thinks it's wired. (laughs) And won't allow me to use my toys on her. What do you mean? I suppose that adds to the frustration. What? Sometimes all I want is to cuddle and listen. More often than not, that is all I want to do. However, if the spirit moves me, I would love to have a willing partner to play patient for me. Oh, God. Failing that, I read or watch or fantasize in silence. When I write, it is total fantasy. I've never had the pleasure of acting on any of those ideas. Maybe someday I will encounter someone with similar interests in my local area. But until then... I feel you, Rhesus girl. Uh, Hot single hearts in your area. My, my horrible girlfriend won't let me inject her of secretions. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, Googled, read it. I was Googling because I was trying to figure out like if it was like Rhesus as in Rhesus monkey because that's all I can think <laughs> it's of. Resuscitation. No. It's resuscitation. It's resuscitation. I, uh, I'm a little bit behind the eight ball on that one. I wish I could uh. enjoy regular sex again, but it's just not happening. Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> so, heave your stand clear 360. Hmm, <laughs> yes. In my case, this has all been with... Yes, this has all been with me <laughs> since the beginning. <laughs> For some reason, I oh thought I jumbled my words horribly. <laughs> Very similar to what you have described when this was a thing before I knew what it meant. I'm fortunate in that I can keep this completely in the box. What shape is that box? Uh, I can and do enjoy regular sex. But 
<laughs> like you said, sometimes nothing compares to sharing experiences in this <sighs> realm with someone who actually feels it and understands it. <laughs> Uh, let's buy a thing. Your cardio stories. Hello, on cardio stories. <laughs> Absolutely yes. need hot stuff. Just in general, sexually, I need to have it at least aspect of it. And just in general, I just love hearing my boyfriend's heartbeat for the safety and closeness of it. Oh my God, Cheerio! <laughs> I, I didn't realize how much there was when I started this place. I guess I'm not really lucky though. I've somewhat converted him to the point where seeing the Steph come out turns him on. And we... <laughs> and we... Sorry. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. And we... We've been a big fan of Heart 69-ing. <laughs> and essentially, we found a position lying down with one of us lying down, upside down. And I have my head on his chest, and he's lying on my bed with his ear against me chest. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it makes me wonder if this is a thing many people could learn to enjoy. He doesn't really know or care about hot stuff before me, and I almost helped him find an appreciation for it. Well, you're a bad cheerio for Save the Queen Six Pistols. <laughs> no. <Hot> me, Lori. <laughs> you infected him. <laughs> With secretions. <laughs> Makes your surgery patient too. I am surgery patient too, and I'm about to go on, but uh, I am absolutely the same way. I stopped having actual sex a long time ago because I felt bad being Don't with someone doubt. but fantasizing about something else entirely. So you <laughs> paid it too. I can totally sympathize, sympathize with that. It's like, if it doesn't involve hearts, what's the point? Uh, I'm Anthony. Uh, yeah, Zero Malt, three you're thousand. Yep. 03,521. Nice. I feel the same. <laughs> I have never talked about my fetishes to my partner, so I usually manage to buy some ninja hand placements on my partner's <laughs> chest. And also now, a fetish. And some <laughs> ear stepping while having sex. <laughs> but Ow. what do you dare to sneak an ear step? <laughs> but is never enough. I haven't managed. I haven't managed to meet in real life another person that share my feelings, so the frustration just keeps building up, and no relief from it other than the internet. Oh. The internet is not helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gross. God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Let's um... Go. Uh, okay, oh. so, uh, cardiac, we're going back to cardiaccadillac.tumblr.com. <laughs> um, we're going, to, we're asking the question, what is your favorite and least favorite thing about being a cardiophile? So, for the diehards, would you please tell us what your favorite and least favorite thing is? Oh my is god, this? yes. My favorite, Author. it's a very beautiful fetish slash fascination with a lot of depth in a sexual Wrong. mindset. It's a very easy thing to pleasure someone or be pleasured by. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Her heartbeats are everywhere. Oh. You can escape them. <laughs> yes, queen. Least favorite. <laughs> how hard it is to explain to people what being a cardiophile means and how much it means to you. My God. The embarrassment and the feeling ashamed. I'm over that stage now, but I still get embarrassed sometimes. And the fact I'll never be able to hear any of my favorite celebrities' heartbeats. <laughs> La. Give them a few years. I'm sure there'll be a streaming service eventually. How, how much money do I have to give you to get you to say yes, Queen, again? <laughs> In that same voice. $50. <laughs> $50? Okay. Yeah, if someone, uh, we still have three out of five, uh, top five cardio non super, uh, whatever. Yep. <laughs> yep, know. yep, yep, yep. Also, natural. you know, it's just nice to donate because, uh, it's a good cause. Yeah. Yeah. 
National Network for Abortion Funds. Look them up. <laughs> uh, sanguinary novel, you're the sanguine rhythm. <laughs> oh, look, it's my long-distant cousin. <laughs> favorite. That's what she said. Also stethoscopes. <laughs> Least favorite. There are a lot of creeps, unfortunately. It makes going to doctor incredibly difficult because I'm simultaneously turned on and scared of medical procedures. In play setting, I'm totally fine and turned on. Also attempting to explain it to somebody who hadn't heard of it. What? Wow, people sure do have a hard time. Everybody seems to really hate the fact that they have that nobody understands their weird fixation. Well, because of so all you wanna... the crazy shit we've heard today. Like, the lady who wanted poop. Her poop and her boyfriend's <laughs> butt. <laughs> this is Mama, they want to fuck the heart. Well, I'm, I'm Cardiac Cadillac again. My favorite, it's such a beautiful and intimate thing. Mm, yeah, it's my, fun. My least favorite, how it's often treated as inherently sexual. Yeah, what is with people thinking it's sexual just because I get off to heartbeats? Well, the, embar guys. the embarrassment and awkwardness it often causes, and fear of being judged if you were to be open about it with everyone. You know, because I wear that shirt that says, ask me about my heart fetish, and it just has an arrow pointing to my heart. I've, I've been <laughs> meaning to ask you about that, Mix. Uh, you haven't taken it off for a while. <laughs> well, yeah, I need something point to heart. <laughs> <laughs> Invite me to your open heart surgery. Uh, this is over on ChrissyFox.tumblr.com, but it's basically the same thing about card uh, cardiophile problems. Uh, riotous heartbeat? This is malt? Yeah! Out of my neck pulse on my pillowcase is very distracting when I'm trying to sleep. Ugh. Cardiophile problems, man. Your own heartbeat turns you on. <laughs> how, yeah. yeah, how embarrassing. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, uh, we, we don't have that much time. <laughs> 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 all right, we have um. All right, well, we have the. We're going to move on now to uh the the question that always gets asked in subjects like this: uh, How old were you when you found out about this fetish? Oh, I don't like oh. this. <laughs> uh. Sanguinary novel. You're you're going to be resus girl again. Okay. So uh, you are responding to somebody. So uh, that is uh, saying that <laughs> they found out about it when they were young. So like every other time, like an artist slap fight. Well, I started when I was a baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same here. I was so young. I didn't even realize it was anything sexual. Ow. I just knew I was a genius child. Fuck you, Julia. I just knew Pick that. <laughs> I just knew that I got a warm, funny feeling when I saw such heard, such read anything to do with hearts and recess. Mm. There's a few things I did unconsciously <sighs> trying to satisfy my fetish. I just didn't realize. If <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Satisfy my fetish. If you can have one of those at six or seven years old, low. Well, well a lot I... of people would like claim that, but <laughs> Yeah. I used to read anything related I could get my hands on. Stories in newspapers, medical encyclopedias, etc. Scan the TV guide for any programs. Oh, I'm sorry. This is wrong with, with the recess potential. Get my classmates to RP CPR at playtime. Mm. What the fuck? Mm, I demand that you participate in my fetish. Right. <laughs> also, I'm with... six years old. <laughs> and I'm not lying. <laughs> Deeply uncomfortable. Play doctor with my teddies. Heck, looking back, it's a wonder no one figured me out. Or perhaps they did. <gasps> no, they didn't. <laughs> no. Ugh. They didn't, because nobody would think that. Paul Mason 24, what do you have to add? Uh, Wait. Uh, oh. Yeah! Oh, God. Thank you, Paul Mason! All right, uh, uh, Salubrious Rex can't enjoy hearts unless it's in the context of pop culture. Please correct this. Who would you like to correct this, though? Uh, I, uh, I don't have a name, so that means I'm probably just gonna have to pick somebody, unless I get one in chat before I decide. So, oh boy. And Mr. Hunky Academia numbers. did too, so. Oh! Oh, oh. That's right! <laughs> We've got two! 
Mr. Hunky Academia also uh, did not leave a name. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. Heave and Mix have gone. So, uh, uh, <laughs> how about, um, Malt, would you please read, okay. <laughs> scroll up to page three and read number three? Yeah. Dodge. All right, uh, Van Dabadozy? <laughs> Van Dabadozy. Is that the name of the show? Uh, I think it's the episode of the show. Oh, okay. I think uh, it's a quote from the show. Oh, oh or maybe. Yeah. So it might be a quote. Ashes to Ashes, episode 1.1. 1. 1. In the callback to the aforementioned scene from its parent show, Life on Mars, the first episode features a scene between Alex and Jean harking back to the one between Sam and Annie, but with oh. a more humorous twist. Like it's the Sam referred to. Like Sam Tyler, Alex Drake ends up in a coma in 2008, but her, her consciousness wakes up in 1982 and encounters the DCI gene hunt. Oh, of course! Uh-huh. Also like Sam, part of her trying to figure out if the world is real or a construct of her subconscious is by putting her hand on Gene's chest to feel his heartbeat. All she gets in return is an inappropriate grope. Gross. Well, does that count then? So, yeah, she doesn't even feel a heartbeat. Uh, uh Sanguinary Novel, will you read number four? <laughs> oh, Buffy, yes. Fuck yes. Buffy and Angel, I felt your heartbeat. Yeah. Angel, episode 8.1, I will remember you. 1.8. 1. 1.8. 8. <laughs> I don't think Angel went eight seasons. Oh, man, this is dys dyslexia ruins us all. That's fine. This one is just honestly just pure fluffy schmoop. And schmoop. I never even shift bangle. But the heart centricness bangle. of this episode made me love it. Angel of Vampire gets hit with a dose of demon blood, which turns him into a human and makes his heart beat again. <laughs> that's how that yeah. works. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. That, why does that make sense, guys? Then the Buffy shows up in LA, which leads to a scene later with them in bed together and her talking about how good it is to feel his heart beat. Like I said, pure fluff, yeah. but rather cardiophilic fluff. Wait, if they nice. fucked, how is that fluff? It's so fluffy and cute, Nick. <laughs> you just don't Never. understand because you're not a cardiophile. Well, well, like, say that. Angel's entire right. character was changed for this. Like his whole thing is I'm a vampire, and now they're like, oh, he's not. And it's like, oh, that's just that's, fluff. That's what you're getting annoyed with. And not that there's people. <laughs> Look, uh, <laughs> oh, we're gonna we do things gonna... to protect ourselves, and mine is focusing yeah. on dumb shit. Okay. We, had a, yeah. <laughs> we just get another donation yes. for someone to read. Great. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> did did we? Yes. Yep. Oh, we did. Uh. Uh. Well, I heard heart sixty nine. Now I can't think of anything else. So here's sixty nine dollars. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> thank, thank you, Yulia. Uh, uh. Um. You know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take that as a fifty dollar oh. donation for uh us to read the next one here on this list yes. since we're on a roll. Um. Lesbiathan. Fuck. <laughs> Will you please okay. read number five? Own. Yeah. The Future Predator. It sees movement. Primeval. Episode 1.6. Episode 2.6. Episode 2.7. So good. Three episodes for one moment. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Primeval's a British, though, so I will definitely not do a British accent. This one definitely appeals to my fear kink, as well as my cardophilia. <laughs> The premise of this show is a team of people investigating anomalies in time where creatures from the past and future come through to the present. Okay. At the end, yeah, at the end of season one, a creature from millions of years in the future shows up in the present, which has evolved to hunt its prey by sense and movement. So, okay. Bad. Uh, that includes sense and heartbeats. On multiple oh. occasions, the show goes into predator vision. Where it shows the creature hunting and the visible parts of its prey, including Abby, <laughs> Connor, and Lester. I found this a really. Oh, sorry, is this just a review of the show now? I found this a really novel concept that appeals to my cardiophil. 
pedophile <laughs> you know, side. This, this, this really appealed to the, the cardiophile in me that's just, you know, about my day-to-day life. Apparently God. the show is about dinosaurs. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> hey. All right. Well, back to our uh, back to our question. Back to our oh, uh, back to our question about when we discovered our uh, <clears throat> fetish. I it's me, Reclama. I was twelve. My parents sent me to tennis camp. There was a young girl there that stood out from the rest. I remember sitting slightly behind her one day before practice, and I noticed her pulse throbbing in her neck. I still remember to this day how strong and regular it was. I wanted to feel it desperately. I realized it had some sort of effect on me right away, because I stared at her neck every chance I got. I'm sure she thought I was a creep, but I didn't care. That's what makes you a creep. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh boy. Uh <laughs> let's buy us in your lovely heartbeats. Okay. Uh I think I was about eight to ten years old, yeah. And I remember that I was very often falling asleep, yeah, with my best with my hand on my heart, and I loved feeling it, yeah. I was already... <laughs> Good, <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Sorry, this is so ridiculous. I was already hooked by, hooked by it, so my curiosity and my imagination nope. did the rest, yeah. I was wondering what it looks like, how it sounds, uh, yeah. I was also amazed... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just so ridiculous. I was also amazed by how my heartbeats were visible. Mm. My heartbeats <laughs> were visible? I thought I was the only child who blushed and whose heart beat faster simply by hearing the word heart. Nya? It was strange. Well, I know strange. how to kill you then. I just have to say heart a lot. You, you know how when cats get focused on something, their pupils dilate? This is just them whenever a heart comes within proximity. <laughs> Yeah, I'm horny heartbeats. Hey, I'm horny heartbeats. Count of Julia. Oh, what a juxtaposition! <laughs> Lovely or horny, you decide. Hey, I was pretty young, maybe nine. I just <laughs> had, oh god, I kind of just had awareness of my heart and liked feeling it beat. Eventually, I grew a bit older and got curious about seeing what a heart looks like. Uh oh. <laughs> so I dissected a real human body, and. <laughs> and so I went to YouTube. Ew, and you gross. Say is when I grew more and became aware of my sexuality. The fetish was right there for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> right there for Ugh. you when no one else was. And when, when I saw one set of footprints, that's when Jesus was feeling your heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, so, Sanguinary Novel, uh, we have a story here from uh, just a little sweetheartblog.tumblr.com. Uh, yeah. uh, so this just happened. Heart. All right. Okay, just a little personal anecdote here. I was walking across campus when I ran into a friend of mine who's older in pre-med. Mm. He's really, really sweet and completely adorable. <sighs> he looks kind of like Matt Smith. So people always <laughs> call him the doctor. God damn it. He <laughs> suits him Matt in every... Smith. Th- Matt Smith looks like a British Frankenstein, so... <laughs> I like when they look like a foot. Well, yeah, think about how good it's <laughs> the first is time Matt Smith has turned up in something we've read either. He was in the Paw Patrol episode. Wait, what? <laughs> it's, okay, it suits him in every sense of the word. Anyway, he's really charming, a kind of shy fellow. I must admit, I have a mega crush on him. So he waved and he came up to me and asked him you know, how it was and stuff. I've been mm-hmm. speed walking pretty pr- quickly. So I was practically breathless. <gasps> he noticed and said, oh, Ma, you're breathing so hard. Are you all right, darling? Darling. Oh, call me darling. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sucked into the void. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. And then he, and to my surprise, he cooed, may I? And gently took my wrist in his hand. I wasn't so sure what he was doing at first. What kind of fucking cardiophile are you? Fuck you. <laughs> and then I realized. Look, her mic was elsewhere. <laughs> And then I realized he was measuring my pulse. After a few seconds, his eyes uh. met mine and he declared, your heart is going really fast for such a tiny person. Oh, you're so tiny. Oh, <laughs> like a little baby. I'm a little baby. small hot bean. <laughs> no, I'll fucking kill you, Julia. I, <laughs> I tried keeping my composure if I were playing, oh... He smiled and then said this. I think it's pretty adorable, but I hope your heart is working properly. More pulsing took place. Oh, he totally said that. By the time we parted ways, I was completely swooning and spinning. And oh my gosh, it was just so romantic. Yeah, okay. So when this was called, so this just happened, I think what they meant to call it was, so this really happened, you guys. <laughs> And then Everyone. all the pre-med students stood up and applauded me. And like, <laughs> Everyone in the medical game stop stood up and well, said, you go, girl. All their hearts beat it at once. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, 20 thanks, hearts beat. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, uh, let's see here. I think we've got, we've got a little more time. So... <clears throat> Let's see. Uh. Hmm. Hey, Heave. Ah. Would you like us to read one more testimonial from somebody on Tumblr? Mm -hmm. Or would you like to hear a story about a vampire? Oh, God, no. Uh, well, <laughs> vampires are sexy. We all yeah. know this. Yeah. Uh, so it has to be vampires. All right, let's buy it then. Bye. If you'll scroll but down yeah. to page 13. But they're dead. Oh, bleh. You're going, if you'll please read for us from thumpingdemon.tumblr.com. All, right. all, right. all right, let me let me see how long this is before I do the Dracula accent. All right. <laughs> the cowboy. Bleh. He could, he could <laughs> it's called right. Little Vampire Freak. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, sorry. He could look right through that shit. That's not. I'm not doing that. He could yeah, look right oh, through that shit. That's not going to work. Yep. Nope. Immediately backpedal. <laughs> See their heart flailing in fear and judge the rhythmic pace just by <laughs> look. The way he took his victims as his toxins sent them into inevitable cardiac arrest was the biggest turn on. Oh no, Ugh. this is the opposite of secretions. <laughs> <laughs> the abilities he had along with his dark cardio cardiophilic obsessions, it was amazing. It was time for another to fall. Well, he fixated. Twilight, Twilight taught me anything. If he's not a vampire, he has to be a werewolf then. Ugh. Ugh. Next. We were having a perfectly nice evening. Then he brought the Twilight up. <laughs> He fixated his vision on her chest and glared into the organ within. Her little <laughs> heart was already thumping away. Strong, steady beats full of life. <laughs> 120 beats per minute. Is that like the he sexiest per... heart rate? It's the second time I think it's so. come up. I mean, I would have thought 69 beats per minute, but whatever. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> he pushed her down onto the bed and <laughs> held her down her arms and rubbed his body against hers like a cat <laughs> feeling the living warmth of her skin her heart started to beat faster and harder the quickening pace the more and more powerful contractions was heaven to his senses 150 beats per minute he leans in closer as her breathing quickens running his tongue up her neck so he can feel a glimpse of her brisk rushing pulse she knows her fate, and there was nothing she could do to change it. Don't worry, it'll be over soon. His <laughs> eyes grew wide, and she let out a breathtaking moan as, he, as his fangs sink into, into her in a typical vampire scene. Boring. Uh. <coughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry, got a little... <laughs> But instead of sucking her blood like the others do, he let his magic venom flow into Secretions. her veins like a snake. 
Mmm, sneaky. Before swallowing, slowly withdrawing. She flails at the pain, but he pins her down tighter, fixating on her chest once again. He watches with his X-ray vision as the toxin flow. This is gross. Flows through <laughs> her bloodstream. No. It starts to take effect on her heart. Ah, uh, he places his head down onto her chest to hear its frantic pumping. One hundred and eighty beats per minute. As much as <laughs> God, it's so long. As much as she knows it won't help, her natural reaction is to fight. Tired of holding on. He straps her down to the bed and places an electronic Sorry <laughs> for real. Places an electronic stethoscope <laughs> to her chest. Uh, yeah. Hey Julia. Yeah. We're getting some requests from chat for throwing in some laws in here. Oh, sorry, sorry, absolutely. Uh where was I? Electric stethoscope on her chest. Blah. Her chest connected to speakers so that they can both hear her heart struggle for life. 200 blahs per minute. Right, let's talk vampires. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> it's working harder and harder. This voice is making me so lightheaded. It's working harder yeah, and harder. Yeah, you might want to scale fight. it back a little bit. No! <laughs> Position to the efforts of futile blah. The sight and sound was spectacular. As it always was for him. Watching a helpless heart getting pushed into subduction. It was beating so fast and hard, it was almost like it could burst. 220 blahs per minute. It was <laughs> oh, it's critical blah. <laughs> God. All right. Four minutes. I can do this. The beats of the little organ were almost vibrations. Blah. She was starting to hyperventilate as her crazily overworking heart demanded more air. Soon it would be no use as her body began to feel... So feeling numb as it was, so began to shut down, starved of oxygen, much like me, Hot. and fall <laughs> <laughs> falling to the effects of the blenum. Her cardiovascular <laughs> system was flowing right, following right behind, two hundred forty plus per minute. Going uh, Julia, blot twice if you've been bit by a vampire off screen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, going as who? Yeah. Going as fast as his muscles would allow it, yet still failing to overcome the strain of the blocks and the beats of her. I can't pronounce this. The strain of the what? <laughs> Bloxin. Come on. Bloxin. Oh, the little organ started to become erratic, no longer holding a steady rhythm as it starts to be pushed beyond its limits. Every few frantic beats. Giving a skip and a pause. Yeah. Oh boy, I don't want to hear. man ever. Oh god, okay. It was so hot, sensation turning him on so much, and of great difficulty for him to contain himself. Still trying to pump faster, her heart slam continues to be more and more erratic. He watched it and listens as. Her once steady, bloody, unhealthy pump reaches the maximum point. 250 blasts per minute. Her cardiovascular system, now starved of being able to absorb oxygen, turns to a bland pink. <laughs> Meanwhile, I think Julia is, doing, is absorbing too much oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Lap. Okay. <laughs> Blah. The few extraordinarily rapid beats left churn out as the concentration begins to fade. Her heart falls to fibrillation and movement. Slater will stop just as he reaches down to finish himself. Blah. He considers extracting. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. He considers mm -hmm. extracting her now still life. This heart is a token, but looks across the room, out the window, into the light beginning to dawn. On the horizon, <laughs> you, you took so I'm long out. to kill her that it's sunrise. Wait, oh, well. is he not like in his nope. own house? He's got this nope. whole setup. To... <laughs> nope, no. Nope. Just draw the curtains, oh. motherfucker. It's not that hard. Come on. Oh well, there's always more blobs to have. <laughs> nice. And I return into the night. Uh, okay. 
Well, oh. I think that that oh, I think that that is uh, about as much as we can pump out of this document God. in <laughs> this hour. Uh, oh. So, uh, but uh, next hour will be the, the last extra credit hour. Uh, we're gonna have the same. We're gonna have the same group, but uh, Portax is gonna be joining us, hey. and everybody's hey. gonna get ready to hear about the Elizabeth storybook uh, saga. I uh, and if you're wondering what that is, well, you're gonna find out next hour. Holy See you shit. then. La, 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 la. <laughs>